Chose the wrong receipts of it.
So you can see the results of all my tests on the screen. But before I can give you recommendations about which setting you should use, let's talk about battery life. Using silent mode, it will deplete your battery after 2 hours and 40 minutes. 1 hour 40 minutes for performance mode. And turbo mode will deplete your battery in about 1 hour. That's why I must say it is totally not worth using the turbo mode for this game. As you can see that the FPS gain is not that important compared to performance with very high settings. Sure, 25% boost is quite nice. But in my eyes, okay, in my eyes when I play on ROG Ally, it is not that different. Maybe it is because of VRR. But again, I simply don't want my device to become hot only for that amount of FPS increase. And I already can enjoy on performance very high setting with good FPS. If the FPS on performance very high settings is 20, maybe it's worth to crank it to turbo. But it's already enjoyable on performance very high. Okay, also 720p and full HD graphics difference are not that big. Again, it is for my eyes because of the small screen size of ROG Ally. However, I must admit that the characters icon and text are a little bit blurry in 720p. Still, pretty good though. That's why I think the best mode for silent is at full HD low or very low settings. You get about 35 to 45 at low settings and about 50 FPS at very low. On performance mode, stick with medium full HD. It is pretty decent and yeah, I cannot see much difference between medium full HD and very high full HD for ROG Ally screen. Maybe if you play on the bigger screen, you can see the difference, but I cannot tell. Okay, so that's my review for Honkai Star Rail on ROG Ally. If you are interested in another ROG Ally performance test, you can visit my other channels. However, I still haven't posted any video about ROG Ally on that channel. I will start posting on that channel after I test Genshin Impact Performance which will be published on this channel because this channel mainly talk about Genshin Impact and Honkai Star Rail. So that's all you need to know. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more Honkai Star Rail and Genshin Impact video. See ya!